Hey, what's up? This is the uh, the pencil intro to intro to playing around with the pencil. So first of all, I asked you guys to get a 4B pencil, right? So what does B stand for? B stands for black, right? And uh, the higher the number, the the softer the lead is here, and uh, the darker the pencil is. But you get more textury kind of surfaced, you know. If you have a if you have a harder pencil, you you damage the grain of the paper a little bit more. But this brings out and you play on top of the tooth of the paper. So for this assignment, same thing uh, we did with charcoal. Just going to make a simple value scale. And again, varying pressure. Make a value scale from dark to light. And this is where we always start with all of these. Again, look at how I'm holding the pencil. <clears throat> you know, I'm holding it like we were holding the, the charcoal. So, this again allows us to be a lot more free in, in our gesture and in our creation of our drawing. If one reason why you're like, hey, I wanna, I wanna get better at gesture drawing, right? And then I look at students sometime and they're trying to do gestures, you know, using, the, using their wrist and their fingers. It's like, that's why your gestures look all choppy. You know, use, use your whole shoulder to draw. And get into this, this whole movement immediately. So um, with pencil, yeah, you're just doing um, value scale. Then you can, you can play around with some hatching as well if you want. Also another way to build up tones. But primarily, just get a feel for pressure. Again, we have our line variation stuff. Yep, and that's all we've got for pencils. So, 10 minutes, you should be done with, uh, with this exercise. Just make a simple value scale, play around with some gestures, play around with holding the pencil in different ways, doing a little hatching, this sort of stuff, and you're done.